Hey there guys, Rick Pignetti from Stone Real Estate and welcome to our last monthly market wrap of the year. I'm joined here by fellow directors, Paul DiMoto of Stone Commercial in the West and Christian Lund. Guys, it's been an absolute cracker of a year. We've still got about two weeks left in it. What have we seen this month? What are we expecting for going into the new year, Paul? We'll start with you. Um, yeah, look, I think it's going to be a very strong start. Um, to the year, we've, we've had a number of properties that we've appraised um, leading into the end of the year where owners are just getting curious with sort of sales opinions, a um, couple that we've listed to launch uh, in February, March, which is good, good signs. Yep. Um, and that's across the board with leasing as well. Yeah, I've seen that you've actually been negotiating some really good figures, um, even with current tenants, anything specific come to mind in relation to those negotiations or a property of the month? Yeah, yeah, probably one that stands out was one that recently sold um, Parramatta Road in Five Dock. Yep. Um, owner that purchased it appointed us to manage the asset. Um, we've got involved, we've, we've actively been able to turn that around and increase the rent by about nearly close to 40%. Wow. Um, which the owner's very happy with because we've obviously identified um, where it was lacking in uplift and negotiated increases in outgoings and rent. So yeah. Yeah, solid. And also noticed that um, after the Tilly's building being sold, absolute gun result, obviously. Um, there's also the medical centre there on the uh, corner of uh, Darling and Victoria, Victoria Road. Road. Yep. Um, how's that travelling for you, getting some good bites on that? Yeah, look, we've, um, we've had interest uh, just over the eight, yep. eight, 8 million mark at this stage, um, on the market for sale for nine. Yes. Um, and yeah, a number of investors are looking at that, but as you'd expect, something that big, they're just taking their time. Absolutely, well hopefully we get to see a result on that yeah. nice and soon. Christian, over to you in sales. Yep. Um, uh, what have you seen? So November's been a very interesting period. Yep. Um, you know, and I'll kind of start with the fact that December was a three Saturday weekend, given Christmas is, is quite yep. early this year. Yep. Um, and it's been interesting. We've definitely seen some good, strong results across different segments. Like we had a sale, a two bedroom unit on 64 square meters at, uh, 6 or 55 Gibbs Street, Gibbs Street. Destroyed. Uh, that had a price cut of 700 yep. we saw about 50 buyers come through that campaign, sold it pre-auction for 780000 Wow. Um, we had the sale of 81 St Albans Street in Abbotsford, yep. uh, single fronted home was on the market with the previous agent, agent before with no successful sale. Uh, we got appointed, you know, went through and fixed it up, cleaned it, Style. styled it, you know, did the full kit and build to make sure it yep. presented well. Uh, had about 66 buyers come through that home, had a guide of 2.4, sold at an auction day for um, just shy of 2.6 million. Yep, amazing result. Yeah, and then uh, you had an amazing uh, auction <laughs> yesterday at uh, 17 Empire Street in Haberfield. Yes, yes, I love Haberfield, grew up in Haberfield, yep. you know, um, family worked in Haberfield, so uh, this one was very close to my heart and uh, obviously we were lucky enough to um, represent fantastic vendors. Um, we had about 60 groups come through. We had numerous contract uh, requests. It was a funny one. The guide was at 2.9 mm. and the feedback was really sitting between 2.9 and 3.2 yep. and, and nothing past that. And um, It's probably worth noting it was, you know, less of the traditional sort of bungalow or federation home. Yeah, it was a, it was a blonde, home, yep. beautiful renovation. Um, but that transacted last night at auction for, for 3,701,000. Which is a huge result. Huge result. Yep. Um, can't wait to hit the ground running in Haberfield um, next year yep. and, and really call that place home. And um, hopefully the belly doesn't grow that much either, but uh, it'll be exciting times. But, um, you know, moving on to, to property management, obviously we've had a very, very strong year in property management. Um, you know, not a lot going on in December, which I'm thankful about because we don't have to worry too much about vacancy and all the rest of it um, but you know vacancy rates very very low at the moment rental increases continue to go and, and start skyrocket through I think a lot of the relationships today have to be worked on just the relationship between you know tenants and landlords yep. landlords are obviously having these huge increases taking place tenants feel that they're hard done by but if you're actually giving them the time to justify it and discuss it um, they really understand that you know with interest rate hikes and outgoings and all the rest of it that continue to increase it really is some pressure that's felt on both so we try to just make them work together and, and understand it but um, i think just jumping on that whilst you sort of mentioned that as well it's it's probably worthwhile any landlords out there or owners who have got investment properties that want to have a conversation about what rent looks like if the review's coming up and what the sale price is yeah we're definitely having a lot of those conversations at the moment yeah. to go well 
the investment's probably served its purpose, what's the mortgage repayments, what's the rent gonna cover? Yeah. Um, so we're definitely still having a lot of those conversations. So any landlords that are out there that are thinking about having those conversations, yeah. feel free to reach out to, to the team. Yeah, commercial even on resi. a commercial sense, I mean, you've, you've obviously found that there's been some landlords who haven't been able to get some great success for one reason or the other, and you've been implementing certain strategies mm. that you know can be seen outside of the square and you're getting deals done. So I think there's a lot of opportunity for growth there and definitely whether it be, you know, on a sale or a residential or commercial front, um, you know, to definitely touch base with us. We're still available um, every day that's required. Um, but until then, we honestly take this opportunity for thank you uh, for all the support we've been provided through the year of 2023. Um, across all directors, we hope that you have a wonderful, joyous, happy, uh, festive season uh, full of love and laughs. Uh, and until January 2024, we bid you farewell. We wish you a Merry Christmas, a happy festive season, a great and prosperous new year, and we'll see you soon. See you later. See you guys.